Now that it's been some time since the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, most people who've been able to play it will realize that it's one of the greatest 2D entries in the series, that has some very unique levels, where I've already made several videos about them. Most recently, I came out with one looking at the top 15 best levels in the game. So today, I decided I also needed to look at the flip side. Here going through the top 15 worst levels, explaining what makes them not as fun to play as the others. Oh yeah, before I get started here, my name is Copycat, and if you haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel, hitting that bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Coming in at number 15 is the Special World's Bounce 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 stage. Where here, you need to jump off the out of control hoppos continuously to make it over several spike sections. I found this mechanic more annoying than anything else. And if you don't bunk off this weird hippo enemy perfectly, then it can go shooting off in the wrong direction, and you'll surely die. Although after a bit of trial and error, you'll get used to handling your character in the state. And it shouldn't be too hard to make it to the end, especially as it's an extremely short experience. I guess it being the best of the worst is at least saying something. I just think if it were longer, and maybe a bit more enjoyable, it would have been better. Next up at number 14 is another special world stage called Pole Block Allure, which is an auto-scroller where you have to use that object to platform on a mountainside. The reason this one makes this list is I just find it too easy to platform on the pole blocks, especially during the Wonder Flower effect, where in many instances things appear to be hard, but can easily just be avoided with one or two small maneuvers. Also, this stage contains the Armad enemies, which instantly puts it lower in my mind as it's just an annoying foe that at least here is useful to trigger the blocks. Again, if this was more difficult, it would have been better. Although, I could be crazy, so tell me if you disagree. In the lucky 13th spot in this video is a stage called High Voltage Gauntlet of Petal Isles, which I find bad for two reasons, one much more worse than the other. The not as bad one is just how annoying the electric bolts are, as it's very easy to get caught up in one of their paths and take damage, made even easier as the level's completely shrouded in darkness. Now, I don't think it's that tough as I don't think you'll die here, but you'll surely lose a few power-ups that you probably would've wanted to keep. The second and even worse reason I don't like this level is that the Wonder Flower effect is just way too easy, where here you become Metal Mario, who is basically invincible to absolutely everything. There's just no risk at all in taking damage in the state, and I think this was added for gimmick factor over anything else. Maybe I'm just a hater, but at number 12 I'm going to put the Fluff Puff Peaks Pokepeed Pass stage, mainly due to that titular foe, as for some reason I just find it disturbing. The way this enemy looks and how it moves is just unsettling, with its dead eyes and the fact that it's confined to a singular track, making it seem like it's being held captive. The level itself is just okay, as you traverse a snow-based mountain where you can platform on the white powdery stuff, or destroy it to find secrets. I guess I can't say this is good or bad, I just wish they would have done more with the strange looking, absolutely creepy, but somewhat cool creature. You all know that I have to add at least one underwater level to this video, where the one I dislike the most is Robert's Cove, all focused around having to use that bird-like foe to platform out of the water. Oddly though, it doesn't even show up much in this stage, and most of it involves you needing to clear certain brick blocks to find secrets, which is not a good thing to have to do, especially without the elephant power-up. The wonder effect is at least kind of cool, as it flips the water to the top of the stage, allowing you to maneuver upwards through a series of jet streams, which isn't tough at all, and unfortunately again, doesn't involve raw birds. Maybe call this one jet stream hijinks or something? But also, I could be complaining too much about a small thing. In the 10th spot is a level that I actually disliked when I initially played it, as I thought it would be more fun in Downpour Uproar, which all revolves around having to swim up the water that rains from the clouds. I just don't really find this mechanic interesting enough to be the main feature in an entire stage, as you don't really encounter anything that gets in your way, other than maybe the downpour stream ending and you needing to wait for it to happen again. The Wonder Flower effect at least saved things a bit, as you essentially get swept up in an insane storm and begin to get thrown around by the strong gusts of wind, having to move upwards while avoiding enemies and lightning strikes. Again, am I just hating on these water levels? Who knows? But I'd love to know if you agree with me in the comments below. 
At number 9, I want to mention a few break time stages that I consider bad, or at least unnecessary to the already great gameplay, making this video due to its incredible easiness or their dumb design. The ones that stuck out to me and fit in these categories the most includes the hurry hurry stage, where you just need to trigger a timer block, then run in a straight line to the end to the wonder seed, the kick it out my way one, where you just need to dodge or melt the ice blocks to get the seed, the cloud cover wonder token collecting one, where you just have to do that on a pull block which is mind numbingly easy, the unreachable treasure one, which is almost insulting to my intelligence as you just need to uncover hidden blocks to platform upwards, the watery wonder token one, where you just have to swim down a slow auto scrolling setting and collect the items with zero risk, and finally the lights out one, we need a platform in an area shrouded in darkness, which isn't even hard if you just guess where the platforms are. These are just way too simple to be considered fun or even good at all, and probably should have either been shelved or redone to at least be longer. Although the search party stages do have a cool concept in needing to find the hidden wonder tokens to gain the seed, I just didn't like how oddly difficult they tended to be, as there was always one single one I couldn't find that made me question whether I was a pro gamer or not. Most of the times you just needed to be powered up in some way and use those abilities to uncover very hidden areas, something that should have been more simple to me, at least I think so, than it really was. Now, I'm not the only one who's had this problem with these courses, as I've seen people online say they absolutely hated them. Now, I won't go as far as saying that, but I do at least think they deserve the number 8 spot here. Now, at number 7 is the Sugar Star Trials Across the Night Sky stage which is fun, but is lacking any risk or difficulty, which is why it lands on this list. This is all due to the fact that during the Wonder Flower effect moment, you're given a superstar turning you invincible, making there be no repercussions to your actions at all. Eliminating risks like this in what otherwise would be a toughish level is a bit of a letdown, as honestly there's no need or want to complete things in a normal way. Even then, it's not even really that great of a stage. As those sugar star enemies just move in a set pattern, so they can just be avoided or maneuvered around with very little problems. Coming in at number 6 in this worst stages video, is cruising with linking lifts found in Fluff Puff Peaks, which is an airbase level where you need to collect pieces of a lift platform so you can travel safely across the void. I just straight up hate this mechanic as I felt like it became tedious after a while having to repeatedly do this over or risk falling to your death. Although, that's honestly the extent of this one's difficulty, as otherwise there isn't much else to deal you damage. This is almost exemplified in the almost laughably easy Wonder Effects section, as you're given gigantic pieces of the platform to collect, just needing to use those to gather the Wonder Flower tokens thrown by the Lakitus in the background. Again, I get these are supposed to be gimmicky moments that are just fun but at least give us some sort of challenge, as it's 2023 and us Nintendo fans are definitely not babies. Now, what's coming in at number 5 is a bit of a cop-out, as it's the very first level you encounter in the entire game called Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, which I guess is just supposed to show you what to expect from this wacky entry, but just ends up being pretty bland. This being an introductory stage means that I'll cut it a bit of slack as it serves its purpose in getting people reacclimated to the 2D platforming environments. To me though, it just doesn't bring any substance at all, something even the Wonder Flower interim pipe section couldn't help. Coming in at number 4 is a level I just got completely bored of during my initial playthrough in the swaying runes of the Fungi Mines needing to deal with the really strange, baby-like pacifier-sucking slide-on foes, who move back and forth on the ground trying to slam you. I'm not sure what's worse, the fact that these enemies just look embarrassingly weird, or that they're very easy to platform on and just avoid completely, where the only difficult thing you might come across here are the mumsies. The Wonder Flower moment is at least somewhat fun, as you begin sliding yourself on slippery, gooey platforms, needing to control your character in this out-of-control state. Unfortunately, even this becomes a letdown, as it's a very short experience that's pretty much over before it begins. As you can see, most of the complaints about these stages remain the same. They're short, they're too easy, or they contain an enemy I just utterly despise. This hatred of an enemy carries right on to the third worst level of this game titled Valley Full of Snoodles, which is literally just that, a stage full of these annoying snoodle foes. 
These round, candy-looking bad guys bounce uncontrollably around the stage, as well as being able to roll around as they're round in nature, pulling out all the stops to try and damage you. Unfortunately, the Wonder Effect moment doesn't make anything better. As time dilates and things slow down, making your traversal to the seed actually a piece of cake. I do hope that Nintendo comes out with DLC and re-explores these wonder effects and makes levels off them that are much tougher, which is something they've done in the past, so one can only hope. Coming in in the number 2 spot in this video is the Sproings in the Twilight Forest stage, which at first seems like it could be interesting as everything's shrouded in darkness and you need to navigate through the course this way, however it doesn't end up being fun at all. I think I expected this to be more interesting, but instead it's just kind of gimmicky, and even becoming stretchy during the Wonder Effect doesn't save it from being one of the game's worst. Again, the concept is kind of cool, but the execution of it is just a bit on the lower side, and I never once felt I was in danger or at risk, ever. Before we get to my number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Taking the top spot as the worst level in all of Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the Sunbaked Desert's Armads on Roll stage, as it's full of those annoying foes, as well as many areas with dense sand that slows you down considerably. Okay, I might just be hating on this Koopa-like foe a little bit too much, but the sand really is an issue here, which becomes unbearably irritating during the Wonder Flower effect moment, as everything speeds up including you and the environment around you but maneuvering in the sand will still slow you down. Without power-ups to defeat the Pokies, this just sucks. And I died a few times in this section before I finally completed it. Alright, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this one. Now, I might be wrong about all of these, as these are all just my opinions, so please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, this game is pretty good, so fighting the worst levels was almost tougher than finding the best ones. So maybe I am just sort of hating just to hate to find hate. If you guys haven't yet, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and please go follow my Instagram at CopycatGamer. There I upload some cool clips and items from my collection that you won't see anywhere else. Hope you guys all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!